This video explains some of the steps to go through to prepare a Revit model for CFD in SimScale. This is the original and pretty complicated model with lots of features and things that we don't actually need for CFD. And here is what we want it to look like by the time we finish simplifying. One of the nicest tools that I use and one of the most useful I think is the section box that you can find on the left in properties. That gives us a global box that we can use to simply drag and clip the model and this is a nice way to get inside to see what we need to start simplifying. There are quite a lot of features here that I think we should tidy up, like these overlaps um, and the doors, for example, so we don't necessarily need all of the door features. We can change those on the properties on the left. And going inside the model, again using the section box, we can delete some of the detail that we probably don't really need. So here I'm just deleting some of the handrails from the stairs and then some of the parts from the outside as well. Basically anything that doesn't really have an impact on the airflow. Another feature that we could use to turn off or disable some features um, is to press VG and that's a visibility graphic window and here we can simply disable features that we don't want to bring through into SimScale. This is anything like darks, electrical fittings, all of the small things that we don't need. We can then close up some gaps. So I noticed that this pillar doesn't quite meet the roof. If we select it by using one of the edges, we can drag it and it snaps to the roof above. We can also remove windows. So again, using VG, we can turn them all off. This would leave holes in the walls. If we don't want holes, what we can do is select the windows and simply use the delete key to delete them. And then the walls are filled in. We can do the same with doors. Um, so here we can either de-feature the door or if we want to, we can remove it in the same way that we did with the windows, just with delete. Often small overlaps can be quite problematic. So to remove those, we can use the join feature within the modify thumbnail. And here we just simply select both parts and use join. And here we can see that the overlaps are gradually disappearing. We can also remove holes in walls. So if we take a look from the south, so I'm going to click the southerly elevation in the tree on the left. And we can go to edit profile, which is how these holes have been created. And if I just delete some of these pinky purple lines, the hole then disappears. And at this point, we're about ready to export a SAT file and then upload it within SimScale to begin our analysis.